Hey, my six math prodigies, this is Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery. And today we're going to go into question number three of your assessment paper number 10. Now, let's take a look at this question. This question is actually pretty, pretty interesting. Um, it is one of those questions which is, um, like I said, irritatingly annoying. Or what did I say? No, typically irritating. <laughs> okay, so I didn't have space to draw the tank for you, but just, let's just imagine a tank A with length 60, breadth 10, and height 40, and tank B with length 50, breadth 20, and height 36. Now, at first, tank A was, an, was empty, okay, and one third of tank B was filled with water. Both taps were turned on at the same time, and water from both taps flowed at the same rate of 1.2 liters per minute. How long did it take for the height of water to be the same in both tanks? So let's do this. I'm going to draw it for you. 60, 10, 40, 50, 20, 36. Okay. 60, 10, 40. I'm going to try and draw this as fast as possible. Bam. 60, 10, 40. And the other one is how much? 50, 20, 36, right? Yeah. So 50... 20, 36, 50, 20, and 36. Let's check if that's right. 60, 10, 20, 40, 50, 20, 36. Correct. Okay, then what happened? Um, the tank A, this is tank A, and this is tank B. Uh, tank A was empty, and tank B was one third filled with water. Now, what does, what does it tell you? It means that the height of the water is one third of 30. Six. In other words, this would be what? One third times 36 will give you 12 cm. So that's the original height of tank B. Now, it says that um, water flowed from both taps at the same rate of 1.2 liters per minute. Okay, 1.2 liters per minute equals to how many uh, cm cubed? Let's convert that first. 1.2 liters is equal to 1,200 cm cubed. Now, how do I know? Uh, first of all, I want to know how much uh, water is going into these tanks in uh, a minute. Okay, every minute, how much water is going in. So, um, I want to know that. And so, how I'll do this is I'll put in 1,200, which is the volume of water, divided by something called the base area. If I divide it by 60 and 10, I will definitely find the height. So, divide by 60 times 10, which is 600. That will give me 2 cm per minute. In other words, this is for tank A, TA. For tank B, what happens? For tank B, um, it's actually 1,200 as well, but divided by 50 times 20, which gives me um, 100, no, uh, 1,000. Is it 1,000? Yeah, 1,000. Which gives me the answer of, uh, hold on. Let me take out my handy dandy calculator. 1,200 divided by 1,000 is 1.2. So 1.2 centimeter per minute. Tank B. So let me ask you one question. Uh, let me ask you a question here. Which one is being filled up faster? Tank A or Tank B? Definitely Tank A because it's rising by 2 cm per minute. And this one is rising only by 1.2 cm per minute. Okay, let me ask you another question. What is the original gap? Okay, the original gap was 12 cm. Correct, no? So, um, which means that tank A is catching up to tank B by how fast? 2 cm versus 1.2. So, 2 cm minus 1.2 will give me 0 0.8 centimeters per minute. And it's catching up and catching up and it's catching up. But how long will it take? To reach 12 cm so simply you take 12 divide by 0 0.8 so you will get 12 so I get times uh, divide by 0.8 will give me 15 minutes so the answer here is 15 minutes okay um, I've actually tried to answer this question as clearly as possible uh, but if you don't understand I'm gonna make a little uh, explanation again so basically what happened is, uh, I'll tell you a simple story. Tank A is empty. Tank B is one third full right now. Okay, however, the tap water, which is coming into the both tanks at the same rate, uh, is actually filling up tank A faster. Faster by how much? By 0 0.8 centimeters per minute. So if the original gap between the two tanks are actually 12 cm, how long would it take? 
for um, for what's it called for tank A to be filled up to the same level. So basically, it's like saying, it's like saying uh, I have a number line here, okay. Uh, I have to reach twelve centimeters, but every single minute I only reach zero point eight. So how many zero point eights do I need to reach twelve cm? That's what it's, it means. So therefore, I take twelve divided by zero point eight, which gives me the number of minutes, which gives me point two minutes. All right. So that question is actually um, pretty simple if you understand the whole story behind it. But if you don't, it's going to be a little bit challenging, which is why I tell you to actually do this question and understand it because it might just come up for your PSLE. You don't know because this question did come up for the PSLE. And trust me, you will be shivering if you see these kind of questions, if you're not prepared. But if you are, it's good for you. You'll be like, this is an opportunity for me to score more marks. And I'll definitely get an A star. All right? So if you got that one right, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. And uh, we are going, to, uh, going into the final quote of the week. And the quote of the week is, if you work it, it will work out. Work it, work it, okay? Work it basically means if you do the practice and you work the system which I've given you, which is to redo uh, questions until you understand it and have it fixed in your subconscious mind and even your conscious mind, you will get an A star for your math exam in PSLE. With that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.